All right, three, two, one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I wanted to clap too, man. I'm going to regret this so much, having Eddie back on. I see too much of Eddie. Uh, welcome back to Top 10 Tuesday, presented by Good Time Media. I am your single host today, Wyatt. Michael is not here for the first time in a very long time. He is moving apartments. He's stressed. Pray for him. Um, but yeah, so... It, I brought in two very special guests from past episodes, some some uh, returning guests. We have Brooke and we have Eddie, a uh, very eclectic group here, a very interesting group. It should be should create some interesting uh, conversations here, but we're doing top 10 things that make you laugh. And by you, we mean ourselves. So I think these are very individualized lists and it'll be interesting to see. I think we're all going to have very different lists here. So I know, Brooke, how do you feel about your list? Um, I feel like it really encapsulates who I am as a person and I feel like no, you guys don't really know what that is. So it's going to be good. I like that. Eddie, how about you? Bro, I'm just looking at my list. It's kind of like making me laugh, you know, so <laughs> that Loki might put me on top, you know, all the fans, if you don't vote Eddie, you're wrong. Um, just saying doing that before the list. I mean, like, come on, you could predict like. Why you haven't made a good list yet? So. Hey, you've never liked a single list of anyone ever. Hey, w- when I was about when I was on last time, didn't I win like fifty percent of the votes compared to like two other people? Which one were you on? Do you remember? Oh, it was overrated things or underrated things? One of those. Yeah, it was one of those, and mine was very. I elite. think you did win that. Actually. So everyone, if you don't want to, if you don't want to see Eddie win again, just don't vote for him. Um. I guess since, Brooke, you're still technically the newest member out of the three of us, we will allow you to choose the order again. Okay. Um, let's go Eddie first due to his confidence. Then I'll go, and then Wyatt. Deal. All right, Eddie. Kick us off. Number 10. I'm supposed to go. Mm, that's how it works. Right, let me <laughs> put the chicken down. Um, number 10, you know, I'm going to be humble and put this in number 10. Um but I'm gonna have to go with myself, you know? I think if we're talking like per capita, like I feel like I've made my, or like shit, like let's look at the stats. Like, per capita. Out of all time, out of all time, like I've probably made myself laugh more than anything else has made myself laugh. I mean, I've also been with myself my entire life every single minute. So like maybe like the per minute average of laughs is not as high as some of the things above on the list. But if we're looking at totals, like, um, you know, it's still up there, so I got to put it there, you know? Myself, I do make myself laugh from time to time. So, yeah, solid guess. Good good job. Nice. I, I hate how that's, like, not a bad explanation. That actually, like, made sense to me. Exactly. I know. I like to make sense from so time wait, Eddie, to time. So, Eddie, is, your, is, wait, is yeah. your whole list based like, off totals, like, total number of laughs? If I was a LeBron fan, I would, <laughs> if I was a LeBron fan, I'd put that number one. You know, so sorry, is it, we, we're not talking about totals here. We're talking about like, you know, you got to look at the accolades. You know, like what are like the laughs per minute you're with this thing or person or like comment. I don't know. Okay. Like, you got to look at like all the stats. You got to look at the averages, the totals. You know, everything. Right. Well, when does one laugh end and another laugh begins? How do you measure that? Good point. Good question. I don't even know what that means, but like, how do you what? How do you like, measure laugh? Like, is it? Ha ha ha! ha. <laughs> Was that one or two? That's one. That's one. Okay. It's, but yeah, duration also matters. If it's like you know, some things will make you laugh for a longer duration, so you got to take that into account, bro. Like, but on. what if? But there are some things that don't make you laugh that hard, but then they keep coming back to you, and every time you get a little chuckle, like yeah, those no, are. Just- we got to factor that in, you know. It's all the stats like calculated. This, this was the amount of math that went into my list. It's crunch, been more. crunching numbers all day. Big oh, yeah. analytics guy. All Fair enough. All right. Work with you all guys. right, my number ten is the fact that like just whenever i remember this fact it makes me giggle that killer clowns took over 2016. Mm, good point eddie wasn't born yet eddie have you heard about that long kanye took over 2016 life of um Pablo. um Life okay but it was like we as a society accepted the fact that like we allowed clowns to terrorize us for like a good year and it was just a thing yeah 
Uh, I mean, not a lot. I, yeah, solid. But I mean, like clowns been terrorizing people. Like, look at the Joker, most famous, like Colin. <laughs> Are you terrorized personally? But like that terror Joker doesn't come to my house and like kill me. It's true. I mean, the Joker is on my TV and he stays there. I mean, I ain't really scared of clowns. You know, they when I was a child, they used to call me Batman. Like that was like my nickname. I didn't even come up with that. They just started calling me. No. When did you change into the Joker? Hmm? No, I'm not the Joker. I'm still Batman. His, I, 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 I will Batman. tell a little Eddie story here. The one email I have from him before he changed his was somethingbatman at gmail.com. Yeah. As as yeah. a as that's an also my name in Fortnite from back in the day. That's also my name in Fortnite back in the day. Die Batman one two three. Shout out to my Fortnite account. I was goaded for that game. Got trash. You know that was crazy that that happened. That and we just like brush over it. We're like that was that was literally what started that. Was it based off like it? Did it come out that year? No, I, don't, I, I had no to idea. come from. School. I don't know, but. I seen some of them clowns. I actually was like, I was driving once and I actually seen like one IRO and I was just like, oh damn, I hope it doesn't stab someone. You yeah, know? and it just like it's like wow, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny now. Oh man, so funny. Oh boy. All right, my Giggling. number ten is. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, but I think this is just a. I treated mine as a guarantee laugh. Like anytime these things happen or this happens. I will laugh. It's uh, when someone gets buried in the sand and only their head is popping out. That's so funny to me every single time. Just the image of just their head above the sand and like the effort that went into them getting in the hole. It always sounds like a good idea at first and then they actually do it and they hate their lives because they're stuck in the sand. And I also one time, uh, child core childhood memory of mine, my buddy Ryan, we did this to him. He couldn't get out. Like we dug him so deep he couldn't get out. It was just his head. And we sprinkled sun chips right around his head, and the seagulls came down and started attacking him. <laughs> he couldn't do anything about it, and it's really funny. And uh, yeah, sorry Ryan, but that was that's what made me think of it. So shout out to uh, shout out to Ryan. All right, it's my turn. <laughs> yes, Eddie, it's your turn. Right. You know what, Wyatt? You really just perfectly transitioned into my, uh, you know, my choice because. My number nine is Wyatt's lists, his top 10 lists. Oh my God. It's just so consistently awful. It's just comedy. Like every week I see, oh, top 10 Tuesday came out and I'm like, oh God, what did Wyatt mess up this time? And it, he just never fails. You know, it's a good laugh every time. I'm like, I like send him to Thomas. I'm like, oh, look, Thomas, it's like, why is a dumbass? And I am, um, you know, it's just, it's a good laugh for like a good hour. You know, I'm like, oh boy, how, how could he manage to make a list so bad? And he just continued to do it right there. That sandcastle, sand face. <laughs> sandcastle. That's a terrible choice, Wyatt. You know, you're off to a good start here. To, you know, another consistently bad list. So, you know what? Thank you, Wyatt. You know, you provided some laughs, you know, in my day. So, hey, that's that's all I'm here to do, Eddie. That's all I'm here to do is provide Eddie, laughs. Eddie, I have a problem with your list order, though. Like, do you think that Wyatt's the the – intensity of how bad Wyatt's lists are. You think that's funnier than yourself? I was just trying to be humble, you know? <laughs> Some people, like, they, they don't really call me humble sometimes. It's unfortunate because I'm, a, you know, I'm, like, top tier most humble. We should <laughs> I, make that I'm much. the number one humblest. <laughs> I've been told that, but, like, some people also call me, um, what's it, uh, narcissism? Like, I don't even know what that means, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm in my vocabulary. I don't, yeah, I don't think you – try spelling that word, Eddie. I don't think you could. Yo, you know, I actually won a spelling championship in grade two, by the way. So I wouldn't tell you. Hey, but I just went for the straight. record. Eddie is saying I'm funnier than him by the list so far. I don't know. I just want okay. on the record. Basically, on the record. What you're understanding, why I don't think you mean to be funny, you know? So it's just like naturally. I'm laughing at you, not okay. with you. you know? All right. Thanks for clarifying. I just want to make it clear for the record that Wyatt, you, it's just your failure makes me laugh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, mine, I don't know if you guys haven't seen this show, but it's like, okay, it's one of my favorite shows. It's And then on my list is a specific segment from the show. So the show is community, but on my list, it's Troy and Abed in the morning. And if you don't know who that is, what that is, what the show is, you really need to watch it. Yeah, I'm going to have to opt out on this one. I haven't watched the show at all. 
You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to look. Who's, who's have like the actors? Is it that? Donald Glover? Uh, Childish Gambino is one. Is, oh yeah, is, yeah. Um, hey, shout out to Pear Tree Music. I rated his album an eight point five. It's one of my most recent videos. That's just Childish Gambino got some great music. I mean, only Awaken My Love, but the rest of his albums were kind of mid. But like, that's just well, rated. they. It's like two community college kids and they have like they fake a morning show every morning and it's just like troy oh, and really? abed in the morning and they're a I guess I watch that. you really like you should i will add that to my i haven't right. watched a tv show like an older tv show in a long time but i guess i have room it's so the good. secession just ended ted lasso just ended and dave just ended so i'm i'm, I'm on the free agent market for shows so maybe that's on the list please please <laughs> please uh my number nine uh i'm gonna go pretty broad here but this will always work for me uh it's chubby babies laughing and i can say chubby babies because i was a chubby baby i promise you i was one of the fattest babies alive i can prove that um top 10 fattest babies I, I, i'd be i'd be not number one but i'd be i'd make the list for sure um chubby babies laughing it's just something about their contagious laughter that i'll fall for it every single time it'll make me laugh those like videos of just like something weird happens or they're doing some devious shit and then all of a sudden they just start laughing like, that's so funny when a baby does something bad and then they laugh immediately after that's always funny to me uh so i had to make my list but chubby babies in general are just anything they do is funny but laughing in general i think that it's really cute but i don't know if it like makes me like crack up but i just like it's yeah why i don't I don't know why. I don't know why you feel the need to bully little children, but I mean, you do. Not you. bully. They're laughing. I'm laughing. We're laughing together. Other than you're out here laughing at me, that's the difference between you and I. Eddie. Yeah, I do do that sometimes. You know what, Wyatt? If you got your IQ up, maybe I would. Um, unfortunately, have to stop laughing at you. All right, fair enough. What, wait, Eddie? What, what's going to happen if I beat you in this list? Because that will undermine everything <laughs> you've just said. <laughs> Wyatt. Why? You're not beating me, buddy. It's not going to happen. I wouldn't let it happen. All right. You have like sand castles at number 10, Wyatt. This isn't one of your best lists. Wow. Yes. Already. Sand castles. Sand castles and fat babies, Wyatt. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, come on. All right. Man. The Do wise that, guys man. are going to come in full force this week. Just, just wait, Eddie. Just wait. Yeah. I'd, honestly, I'd be willing to put money on it. Like, seriously. Eddie, do you have any money to put before we get really into this? Oh, uh, yeah. He's gonna pull up his bank account for some cash. <laughs> I, I, I don't know yes, what sir. that means. That could be a dollar bill. Can you not read why? I don't know what Canadian dollars. What's the conversion? He's showing us his face. What's the conversion rate? Is that like a nickel? Is that five cents? Five dollars. Five dollars. All right, Eddie. What's your rate? Wait here. I, I have something that you might be able. To oh whoa! Shit. It's the raise I gave you. You're welcome. For not making a podcast in a month, that and we re we recorded an entire episode, and Eddie is just too lazy to put it out. You didn't. Send I literally it to sent you, it sir. to you. Oh, yeah, Eddie, what's your number eight? Let's go. What is my number eight? Let me check. This. Yeah. <laughs> number eight, uh, the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, truly, truly a pathetic franchise. Like really pathetic like every time they like make a trade do anything you know losing the second round which they've done about 40 times like it's just it brings a smile to my face because like and and when Kawhi went there like I wasn't even mad I'm like oh we only need Kawhi bro because like he's going to the most pathetic franchise ever that will never do anything ever so it's like really funny to just watch the Clippers continuously fail and fail and fail which they will do forever because they're a second rate franchise I'm honestly taking like Bro, give me like, like some AAU like squad from like Chino Hills, Los Angeles. Chino Hills. Yeah, I mean that Chino Hills team was much better than the Clippers, bro. <laughs> UCLA is better than the Clippers. Like they're really like they give Los Angeles such a bad rep. Like that's like the reason Los Angeles is not even a top five. Top, it's a state, right? Top five, top ten state. Like it's not a state. Facts. It's a city. I mean, city. I, that's what I meant to say. I mean, like state. I meant by like NBA state. What teams, wait, Eddie? So. What? state is los angeles in um speaking of childish gambino it's a song by him um california let's go you didn't know that you didn't know, I didn't that. know that you're right 
All right. I guess. I can name, like, wait, Eddie. What was what was your thoughts on um Lob City? Lob City was pretty cool for a little bit. Oh boy. Oh man. So many second round exits. So crazy and cool. All right. That's the thing. I mean, Jamal Crawford was the only good player on that Jamal team. Crawford was a we all know Kyle Lowry is better than Chris Paul. Come on now. We all know that. All right, we're not. We're not we doing that. We're not doing it. that bit again. We're not. Brooke, what's your number eight? It's a little on the opposite wavelength, but I think it's really funny when people get pantsed. It's a good one. <laughs> I think it's funny if you haven't had a traumatic experience getting pantsed. Oh, why? Oh no, you're gonna cry. Uh, have you been pantsed? Oh, of what? course, I'm a dude. Eddie, have you ever been pantsed? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, be honest. I'm answer. Okay. I was gonna say I'm gonna be honest. I'm in my pantsing era. Right now. Yeah. You're <laughs> like I think yeah, it's really. really you're funny. currently in your pantsing era. What? What is the last time you pants someone? <laughs> like two days Stop. Ago. <laughs> in public. With one of my friends, and she was cooking and had something in her hands, so I knew she couldn't pull them back up if I pantsed her. Wait, girls pants each other? <laughs> That's not a thing. I mean, maybe not every girl. Um, but it's currently something that I get a kick out of for sure. Interesting. I, okay. I, so it's confirmed I'm winning this list because it's why it's bullying babies. You're bullying your friends or something like, look at all the bullying going on. I'm okay. Okay. First of all, you're telling me that you're walking down the street and some guy runs up to somebody else, just pulls his pants down and walks away. Like you're telling me you're not laughing at that. I don't support bully guys. I'm very anti bullying here. Um, what if what if their pants were uncomfortable and it mm -hmm. was freeing the Janet? Wait, Eddie. What's also what's number nine on your list? Um, okay, well, huh? So what's number nine on your list? <laughs> my number nine on my list. Let's read it out for you, um, people out there. Um, okay, um, number nine on the list is why. Okay, it's and then you're anti bullying. That's your stance. Of All right. Fair enough. Don't show the rest of your list, Eddie. Put it away. We can try. <laughs> Fair enough. Wait, uh, another question for you, Brooke. Along those same lines, what's the uh, female version of ball tapping? Because that's a phase guys go through. No, boob no, tapping? No. But I feel like... Just hitting someone's boob? Is that as funny? It's not, it's not a, it can't be as painful. If, if they have big boobs, it's funny because then they like jiggle back. But if they have small boobs, then no. But there's just like not a, a pain level, I feel like, equivalent. Fair. No, Giving birth, I mean. Pain level equivalent. Facts. <laughs> we like, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like, this, I feel, I mean, like I've always said, guys, I guess we just have it harder, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Totally. Sure. Not even going to open Yeah, we, we should. We shouldn't go down that road. Um, okay. Now I'm up number eight. Okay. I have to, Hmm. I'm debating moving one from my honorable mention into this list. I'm, okay. I'm going to do it. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to just take the entire broad category of memes. I was so late on the meme train. Like when I was in high school, I thought there were the, there's nothing funny about this whatsoever. But I've come around on it where now I just love just like casually making memes and sending it to the group chat. It's so fun. And like, I don't know. There's so many different templates. There's so many different areas you can go with it. And the dumber, the better. And it just gets better and better. I'm also very specifically, I love the memes where it's um, like super generic stock photos. Um, like the person will be like, hey, what's today's date? And then someone will say March 1st. And then the person will start marching and they'll be like, can you tell me now? Like that type of humor on memes gets me every time. Very funny. And then memes in general are hilarious. So I'm taking memes at number eight. I mean, that's a top five pick, Eddie. You got nothing to say against that. What is he? I like memeing other people. I've been into memeing mm -hmm. my friends, taking a picture of them and memeing them. But as I'm looking at my list, I'm realizing uh, that like the people getting pants wasn't my only like thing about butts on my list. So my sense of humor might not be like tangential to the rest of the audience. Fair enough. I think I think butt jokes can play though, to a certain extent. <laughs> Eddie, to number seven. Uh, you know, I'll just go with it easy. 
light pick, you know. Sometimes you got to watch some TV shows to, you know, when you're just bored, you know, playing 2K in the basement, you feel me, and just put some TV shows on in the background and get a quick laugh going. And I feel like two of them TV shows that work best is, like, The Office and, like, the, that How I Met Your Mother show. Those, you know, I love the, How I Met Your Mother. Solid shows, 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10 recommend, you feel me? So, I mean, that's an easy pick. Come on, Wyatt. Like, so wait, so are you are you picking – TV shows or just those two specifically? No, I'm picking those two specifically, okay. but it's kind of a broad, like everyone has their TV shows. So like in your mind, guys, if you hate those shows, just switch it out with whatever terrible TV shows you guys like to watch. Eddie, you've been watching new girl. Haven't you? I watched the first season. It was, it's, um, I'll give it a solid six out of 10, you know, uh, like there's about two characters that are like, even like, enjoyable to watch on bro the main character is so annoying man I she grows she on goes, you gotta get through the first season you gotta get through the first season you've done the hard part he, new girls my honorable mention but yeah i mean i'm trying it's it's difficult but the i'll third, get there the, actually, i think remember. the three third and fourth seasons is where they really hit their stride like those are the best two seasons um they have yeah. the best episodes but I agree. stick with it eddie trust me i think you'll enjoy it uh, my number seven is kind of random, but I think it's really wholesome. Old people playing pranks. Like, they get so into them, and then I think it's hilarious. I, I need, I need an, a, an example of an old person prank. Like, I, I don't see myself laughing. I feel like I would feel – like, I would, like, smile. It would make me war- feel warm inside, but I wouldn't, like, laugh at the actual prank. Well, like <clears> – <throat> What do you mean? Like you, you, okay. Okay. So let me think of an example. Like I imagine, I, I imagine know. an old person prank. Like it's a very bad prank. It's not funny, but because they're so into it and think it's funny, they laugh and them laughing makes me like happy, but not make me laugh. Well, maybe that's like, no, that's like, like the old person has, is like with it enough. Like, and my grandma plays pranks. I think it's funny, but she's not like senile. Like she knows what she's doing. It's not like she's like inaccurately pranking. Okay. Like picture, like, but I don't know. It doesn't have to be a great prank. Like I'm, a, I'm a regular prankster. Picture from New Girl, prank Sinatra, Winston. Like now imagine he's just like him in like 40 years. Like that's going to be even funnier. Like when he's I, doing I, My grandma played a prank on me the other day too. It was pretty it wasn't funny. funny. Like, they're so unexpected, She's, too. Right, like, she said she didn't like the Kanye song I was playing. It was pretty funny. It was a good prank, you know? I should have saw that one right? coming. I should have seen that one coming. It was, a, it was a prank, right? I think. She got your ass. Grandma? She got your ass, you Eddie. There, got a prank, Grandma? Damn it. I hope it was. All right. I, th- I think there's a little crossover of, like, I don't know. I feel like the same prank could be just as funny if it wasn't an old person doing it. I agree, but for me, what makes me laugh is especially when an old person gets gets in it. Fair enough. All right. Um, my number seven, uh, it kind of has to do with old people. It's uh, – this is super specific, but it's uh, – I saw this tweet one time and it made me laugh. It's uh, when someone texts you that they love you and then you just reply LMAO rent-free. It's so funny to me. <laughs> just someone someone texts you like a super heartfelt message like, hey, I'm thinking of you. Hope you're doing well. Love you. And then someone like someone's mom texted them that. And then the person replied, LMAO, rent free. And that's it. That's hilarious to me. And maybe my humor is broken, but I have that screenshot saved about seven different times because I forget that I screenshotted it before. And so it's just in my camera roll. A bunch. It makes me laugh every single time. I'll put the image up. So... What I'm hearing, why is that you disrespected babies first, and then now you're disrespecting your parents. Uh, okay, why? You're like, you're not coming off very well here. I'm, I must say, like, I would never do that. Hey, this is this is this is, could be a bottom tier list of mine. I'm still gonna beat you. I promise you that. That's not gonna happen. Why? Come on, bro. Like, what am I like? Remember when DJ Cow was like, I never lose. Like, that's me. But like, I I lose weight. I'm like DJ Cow, you know. Go, Eddie. Go, Eddie. Oh, it's my turn. Where are you going? Okay. I have stuff to do, Wyatt. Man. What do you mean stuff to do? We're in the middle of a show. Okay. Number six is probably the top five, three best movies ever. Um, Kung Fu Panda. 
<laughs> like, man, the emotions I go through when watching it. Like, I was showing it to my sister for the first time ever because uh, I feel like everyone needs to watch it at least five times in their life. Um, for me, it's like once or twice a year, guaranteed the whole series. But like, oh man, like Kung Fu Panda is just such a roller coaster of emotions. There's laughs, there's crying, there's smiling, there's, you know, everything. Like one of the greatest well-written stories ever. And it's also happens to be very um, comedic. So Kung Fu Panda, shout out to Kung Fu Panda. Shout out Poe. Um, shout out Poe. Tai Lung, I really mess with you, buddy, but... Um, Master Shifu, Master Ugwe probably is the funniest. Um, yeah, shout out to all those facts. Top five movie of all time. If you disagree, I, it's a great movie. It's a good movie. I wouldn't say. The whole series. Hey, Kung Fu Panda form. If you're if you're good, you might uh you might bring that Kung Fu Panda series up higher on the list. Maybe like number three or number four. I don't know. We'll see. Good. I I can't say I've seen Kung Fu Panda in the last decade, but I do remember it being very good. So. I can't really fight that one too hard. I love how he just gives his pick Bye. and leaves. <laughs> yeah, where is I he going? Know. Are you making more chicken? He's a he's a conundrum. I'll never figure out Eddie. I don't want to. All right, what what you got, Brooke? My next one is Jennifer Lawrence interview clips oh. because I think she's a hoot and a half. She's funny, and I'll watch on TikTok some like interview clips of her and she just like is really a mood to me so i like her uh what do you think about her new movie coming out soon i, f- I don't remember what it's called have you seen i have no idea she's basically someone a teenager's parents are paying her to try to sleep with her son their son oh yeah yeah i actually think i did see i her feel like that. that's i don't know how i feel about that movie why because of the concept yeah i think it could be very bad but it could be funny it has like a 10 percent chance of being like hilarious 90 percent chance of just it's being probably bad. gonna be cringy yeah i just i <laughs> i don't want to be that guy but like imagine switching those roles in that movie yeah agree interesting agreed. but i i think jennifer lawrence is really funny i want to see her come. i just i recently rewatched all the hunger games not recently like a month ago oh yeah so good she needs to come back um all right my mm. Number six. Now, I definitely don't have the right audience for this, so you guys might not even know what I'm talking about. But um, this is a quote from the greatest bowler of all time, and I quote this once, maybe twice a week. Uh, Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Not Chris Paul. Pete Weber, uh, when he was playing in the bowling national championship. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've seen this you want to say it? I've you want to say clip. it, Eddie? I'll let. You, I'll call on you. You can say it. He says like something about like who are you thinking? Close, are? you're close. It's me. It's who do you think you are? I am. It's the greatest quote of all time. It makes me laugh every time because the context is there was a 13 year old child in the stands that day, oh, chirping him. Oh man, Wyatt's first good pick in like three years, man. Nice. I'm, Eddie approves. Nice. Uh, there was a 13 year old <laughs> chirping him. This grown ass man who's a professional bowler, number one in the world. A 13 year old was chirping him the entire time. So Pete Weber decided, all right, I'm going to get a strike here and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to, what are we doing, Eddie? Can can we be serious for a second? Thank you. He turns this 13 year old boy, points him right in the face and goes, who do you think you are? I am, which makes no sense at all. And it's the, it does, it doesn't, it It just doesn't make sense. He's basically saying whoever in this guy's mind, this jit, jit, by the way, if, for um, you uneducated people, it means like child, youth, dumb youth. For this jit in the crowd, whatever, um, he was talking trash. So he thought he was like cool and all. He thought he was like someone that's built different. And then this guy said, whoever you think you are. I am. Basically, like, that's him. He's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm better. That than was you. the original him. Because that just became a thing. Yeah. That was the original him quote. Who do you think you are? I am. Solid Thank you, Eddie. I'm Solid glad, I'm glad you approve. Eddie, you're up. Facts. Yeah, Watch number uh, five. Five? Yeah. Eddie, quit making Snapchats and give your list. That was a good. That was a good one. That took me like three hours to make. Okay, number. What am I on? Number five. five? Yeah. Number five. Um, man, like every time I'm just like 
I need a laugh, I go hit up YouTube and watch some like um like Kanye West funny clips compilation. Um specifically, bro, when he went up on the stage and he's just like he's like, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the greatest videos of all time. That was so funny, man. Like I don't know why people make it seem like it was like bad that he did that, but I would have done the same thing if I was there, man. And and by the way, like Beyonce's award was like she deserved it. She won like actually video of the year. So it's like he was right too. Like, why are people mad? He didn't do nothing wrong. So that was so funny, man. Like, honestly, like I know like that Will Smith slap was really funny too, and everyone thought it was hilarious. Like, that was a funny clip. Kanye did it first and better. So it's like facts. <laughs> Eddie versus the Swifties, once again, the sequel. But yeah, bro, Kanye, like, funny clips, like, like, uh, what about when he was just like, uh, this interview is because of the movie The Incredibles. It's just like, I slowly see my life becoming what, Oh, more what's more the like one? The he does have a, a, there's a funny moment where he's talking about, is it Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga? Yeah, the, the yes. Lady Gaga clip. Yes. He's just like, I like, uh, he's like, Lady Gaga is the creative director of Polaroid. I like some of the Gaga songs. What the fuck does she know about <laughs> yeah, cameras? That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. a great one. There's another one. There's another one where they're doing like, I think it's like, relief care for Katrina and doing like an infomercial. George Bush does yes. not care about yeah. black people. So they're like they're panning yes. back and right forth, too. and then they're like, "Please send money, help the people in Louisiana." And it pans to Kanye, and he's just like, "George Bush does not care about black people." And, and Chris and Tucker, right, Chris too. Tucker was next. And he was just stunned. He didn't know. He couldn't say anything. Uh, he is a is such a hero. Okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far, Eddie. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, Kate. Whatever he said recently. Disavow? Are you gonna disavow? To go Will you disavow his recent actions? I'm just saying he was just trying to get out of his Adidas contract. Like, let's be real. <laughs> so, like, he knew like he had to say something like crazy. So he did. So. All right, Brooke. What That's you got? I follow that one up. <laughs> Monkeys and tuxedos. <laughs> oh, no, not animal abuse. First of all, first of all, first of all, I bet you those tuxedos are very warm. Second of all, I'm not talking about real ones. I'm talking about the cartoon ones and they're little butlers and they have little trays. And then there's like, and then also works for penguins as well. Is this a thing? Is this a common thing? Or is this just a very specific, like you like seeing monkeys and tuxedos? A little bit of both. So um, in How I Met Your Mother, there's a reference. Robin Scherbatsky finds it really funny. But also, That's this true. isn't really going to help me. Um, Sing, in the movie yeah. Sing, there is a um, Hobbs, the penguin butler, and he walks around and there's a little, little tux and he does his thing. And I think it's a riot. Brooke, I do like how you're holding the mic like you're about to like spit bars. Like that's how I feel like that's how you know. Actually, honorable mention is is my intoxicated freestyle. Oh no! Release yeah, the tapes. You should, you should. It's not appropriate. Release the tapes. We want it. The people want it. It's promoting. It's promoting non-safe sex and under my wrapping. And you're right. We're not gonna. We won't put that out. That's not. That's not what we're about here at Top Ten Tuesday. I'm saying. Doesn't fit our morals here. We promote. We promote. Apparently, Kanye. Protection. And apparently, Kanye, only Eddie, and animal abuse. E. Which is, we disavow all that, by the way. I hope people know. And everyone, by the way, um, go watch my new TikTok on um, Kanye. Animal abuse. Every single Kanye song. <laughs> you can see I ranked every single one of them. You see, that's that's one it's we will cool. not be putting up on the uh, on the main page, but. Good for you, Eddie. Glad. I'm not going to spoil number one, but it starts with an R. Um, I took me like four out. And I ranked – and by the way, I don't even need to listen to any of the songs. I've listened to those songs about a billion times. Fair so. enough. Mm-hmm. All right. My number five. Again, I don't know if this is the audience for it. I don't know. If, have either of you guys seen I Think You Should Leave? Eddie, have you seen I Think You Should Leave? That's concerning. What? Have you seen I Think You Should Leave? No, what's who's it's a sketch name? comedy show? It's Tim Robinson. It's the funniest thing ever made. Everyone needs to go watch it. It's the most like. So why is it number one then? Why? Why not? 
there's other things. Oh, there's that. other circumstances. Tick better. Hey, and sh- by the way, let's just interrupt Wyatt real quick because whatever he's saying is just irrelevant. Um, I made some fresh tea, by the way. Shout out to um, Japan. They have some really good tea, man. I ordered this from there. So good, man. I, if you don't, you know what I always say: three cups of tea a day keeps the doctor away fast. Shout out. Continue I don't even it. need to honestly elaborate. I think you should leave is a great show. It's one of those things where if you watch it, you are you love it. If you don't have never seen it, you really could not care less about it. So I don't even know, have to explain it. You know what, Wyatt? I'll come back to you in a month, and I will tell you what I think. You could binge that. watch three seasons in an hour and a half. They're short seasons. Right. It's like they're short, like 20-minute okay. episodes. See you in a week. And I'll yeah, you next week. Tell, next week on The Bum, Eddie. Tell me about uh, I think you should leave. All right. All right, you're up, Eddie. Number four. Gosh, you got to give me a more warning. It's just an up. order to it, Eddie. All right, number four. Okay. Number four is um, he's been a guest on uh, The Bum on a couple occasions. He is the number one mucker in the world. Mr. Muck. Uh, Mr. Sam Rose himself, man. This guy right here. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. I like Mr. Mook. Did you just have that lined up? Yeah, man. This guy right here. All right. That's a funny guy. <laughs> I mean, if you know, y'all have seen the episodes. Like, come on. Like, this kid can say anything. Like, it's it's either like, he could say like the most like emotional, like unfunny thing and I'll still laugh, man. Just because of the way he talks. It's just, he's just the funniest kid, man. Like, he could say like the most like, he could say like, Oh, uh, my neighbor had a three-year-old child and he died in a fire. I would still laugh at that. I don't care if Sam is saying it. You know, this kid, like he could say whatever and I'm laughing because he's just – Here's funny the thing. I don't, I don't hate the pick, Eddie, because I do like Mr. Muck. He's a funny guy. He's a professional too. He, he's good at what he does. Uh, Brooke, Mr. Muck is someone who uh, is friends with Eddie and he reviews food. Oh, yeah. He calls him he calls him Mucks, and so he's always mucking around. He – uh. His most recent muck was pretty good. I saw that. I've been trying to get on a muck. Um, yeah, he's a funny guy, so I can appreciate the pick. I like Mr. Muck, friend of the program. Good pick, Eddie. Shout All out right. To, to Sam Rose. <laughs> no. My number four are typos that result in curse words, specifically if it results in the word nipple or ass. What would – all right, what's a word that – Auto corrects to nipple. I feel like it's always the opposite. Like you go fuck to duck accidentally, and that's language there, no, buddy. I was trying to write you. Let's nip this in the bud, and it thought I was gonna try and write nipple after nip. Hmm. It said let's nipple this in the bud. I found that really funny. Fair, fair. I I think they uh. F- and- <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> One time I tried to type weird and it auto corrected to weenie and that one like that one really got oh god me. that that's the bar <laughs> that's what's gonna send you over the edge weenie yeah fair enough i think they uh they came out with an update they said um the duck fuck ratio or like the auto correct isn't yeah. gonna happen anymore so r.i.p i saw that nice, duck nice usage boy. in text is gonna go down by a billion percent like when have you ever texted the word duck and meant it? Maybe never. Uh, a lot. Well, you said I just saw this duck. No, my my friend's name is Danny, and we call her. Oh duck. well, yes, this is probably a good day for her. This doesn't autocorrect all the time. Ducks. Yeah. Ducks. All right, my n- shout out to all the ducks in the world. They're better than I don't like. They're these not going to vote like, for you, Eddie. They're not. They're not going to vote for you. I mean, they will. All right, my number four is uh, this is kind of just like an overall idea, but it's continuing a joke for so long that it becomes funny again. So I'm re- this is like my specialty. God, why, I'm, man? This is what drives people away from me, buddy. You done, Eddie? All right. So, anyways, you know, there's a process of joke where it's funny the first time. And then if you say it again, it's not as funny. And then it gets less, less and funny and it's not as funny. And then it's very not funny, but then it becomes so annoying and unfunny that it circles back and becomes funny again because you just drove it into the ground. That's my specialty. I have a a bit 
uh, with my friends where every movie I see, like people like uh, will ask like, oh, like how was the movie? Like I saw Spider-Verse the other day. And every movie I see, I always say, oh, like it was good. Or I give my honest opinion. And then I say, oh, but the Woody Harrelson cameo was weird. So I always, I always pretend there's a Woody Harrelson cameo in every single movie. And uh, it was funny. I'm going to be honest. I have no clue who this Woody Harrelson good actor, is. But... Good actor. Um, but it was it, it got like a couple chuckles the first time. They're like, what you, like, whatever. And then it just wasn't funny for like two months. But I kept doing it. Well, that's that dude from the and then it came all the way back where now it's funny. Like Sp- I saw Spider-Verse last weekend. And I was like, guys, that's the best comic book movie I've ever seen in my life. I didn't really vibe with the Woody Harrelson cameo, but everything else was pretty solid. And that got a laugh. So I circled uh-huh. all the way back. It was a two-month process, and I'm very proud of that one. So I, uh, this is a Wyatt special, just hammering a joke into the ground until it's funny again. So it's very, very rewarding and very funny. Eddie, it's your turn. Right, right, right. to kind of... Number three. Number three. Um, shout out to... I mean, not to be mean, but maybe this does kind of like um, interact with number four as well. Sorry, Sam. Um, it's only a joke, by the way. Um, dumb people. Dumb people are very, very funny. Like, dumb people do dumb things. Like, come on. Like, dumb people. Like, like think of like all the funniest stuff to happen. Even like in TV shows. Who's like the most fun? Like, who's the funniest character? It's the dumb one. It's always the dumb people that get the last, man. And like... Dumb people, I don't, like, I feel like they get, un, like, overhated because, like, imagine a world without dumb people doing dumb things. That would be so boring. Like, it, like, I, you know, like, people say, oh, you're, you're laughing at them. No, you're not laughing at them. You're laughing with them because they're, like, they bring joy to your world. Like, all these dumb people, I'm not laughing at you. Like, you do dumb stuff, and I laugh at it, but... Truly, I do think that you're amazing people. And all the dumb people out there, you're all heroes to me. So continue being dumb. Don't get, like, like you know, just keep being dumb. Like, you're making me happy. So thank you to all the Eddie, dumb people Eddie, out there. Eddie, you, ju- you just, you gave me justification against everyone who has ever told me to fire you and question why Eddie is a part of Good Time. You just gave me the reason. You put it on a platter. Thank you very much for that. Oh, that was what they call a complisult. He complimented and insulted you at the same time. Yeah. How's it feel? How's it All feel, right. Eddie? New words. I mean, that's a new vocab word. But Wyatt, as much as you may think Edward's dumb, I still probably have a higher win percentage in Wordle than you do. So. In Wordle? <laughs> you st- oh, yeah. You're still Never Wordling? Oh, yeah. Never lost. Do you, Eddie, do you play the Samantle? Which? The Samantle. I don't know what that is. I that right now. Oh, it's super fun. I love word association games. It's like one of those. Oh. It's like a wordle. It's like a wordle, but it, you have to find words that are like semantically similar. My but my buddy Eli's semantic- calling me right now. I'm gonna force him to be on top ten Tuesday. Hey Eddie, we're on we're or not Eddie, Eli. We're live on top ten Tuesday. <laughs> um uh, why your top ten Tuesday probably fucking sucks. All right, come over after. Hey, who said that? It's nice when I, I, I was trying there. to get him. He said my list probably sucked. Uh, fair enough. All right, wait, who's up? Oh yeah. Well, so Ed, Eddie, yeah, well, Eddie, you said dumb people. Time. Brooke, what you got? I have a stand-up comedian, the classic and actually ever-growing in popularity, Matt Rife. Boo! Boo! Out of all Don't... comedians, first of all. First of all, first of all, first of all, your femininity is showing. My femininity is showing. Um, and it's about time. Okay. What'd you say again? Sorry. Your guys, your your masculinity is oozing out of the (laughs) roasted twenty roasting nuggets that Eddie's eaten in the corner over there. I do like. Oh wait, sorry. We we cut you off. Explain your Matt Rife pick, and then I will complain about it. Why are you why are you mansplaining, Wyatt? Why are you mansplaining, buddy? You gotta be respectful. Man. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I still haven't figured that out. People say that in my TikTok comments because I gave Taylor Swift a bad review and I didn't know. All right, Eddie, let her let her let her talk about Matt Rife. Justify why Matt Rife should be on this list. I'm a woman of the people. <laughs> 
<laughs> More, moreover, I'm a lazy woman. I'm scrolling on my TikTok. TikTok knows I'm a girl. TikTok throws that motherfucker all over my For You page. He is, he's hitting on MILFs on my For You page. He's being, you know, offensive on my For You page. And I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm giggling. I'm giggling. I'm a simple woman, easily entertained. His face isn't too horrible to look at. It checks the boxes. It does. It does check the boxes. I, I do. I don't want this to come across like I don't like Matt Rife. I think he's really funny. I think he's a very talented comedian. To put him on this list over a lot of other potential comedians, I'm going to assume there's no other comedians on your list. There's an honorable mention. Okay, so he's number. He's the highest comedian on your list. That's taking it too far, in my opinion. Um. Um. Do okay. Well, Eddie is on his What's own his list. Comedian? Eddie is on his own list. And <laughs> great point. Great point. Right. And and you're gonna give. I at least this guy is. Literally Wait, what was your comedian? I was like, I was doing the Eddie, world. No, you get to hear next time. You can watch this goddamn episode and find <laughs> out if you're not gonna listen to other people. Thank you. Someone put Eddie in his place. He stopped listening to me like two years ago. But um, okay. Too good for that, Eddie. I don't. I I was gonna say I don't hate the pick, but I kind of hate the pick. Yeah, but it's no hate against him. I just think there's better comedians out there. Um, my number three is one of my favorite events to ever happen. This is an OG event of Top Ten Tuesday. This was on my first two ever lists of this show two years ago. Uh, season one, uh, fans of the bum, remember this one? It is the Ohio car crash of 1895. And I hope you two don't know what I'm talking about so I can explain this. Because it's the greatest event to ever happen. So, in 1895, in the state of Ohio, there were exactly, try to guess, how many working automobiles in the state? Try to take a guess. Six. Twelve. Six or 12? 48. Or, nope, all wrong. There were two. There were, One million. There were two exact working automobiles that could drive on roads in the entire state of Ohio. And they cr- and they got in a they ooh, crashed ooh, ooh, ooh. into each other. They crashed. They crashed into each other. The you can't script something better than that. They there were th- Ohio's big. Ohio's a big state. It's not the biggest, but it's a big state. There were, there weren't even roads. There were barely roads. And these guys driving around thinking I I'm the only car, or knowing there's one other car. We're not going to crash into each other. And they have to see each other coming. It's not like they got caught behind another car and then didn't see it swerve in front. No. They crashed into each other, and Brooke, I don't know if you're looking it up right now. Try to fact check me. I promise it happened. 1895 car crash. I'm. I was looking for some information, but also, I have a historical event on mine that dates back to 66 A.D. So, um, we'll see. Okay. All right, but the car crash, Ohio car crash of 1895 is an all-time personal favorite of mine. Yeah, that is kind of bamboozling. That's a great word to describe it. I I, I can appreciate that. Eddie, number two, what you got? Um, Number two, mm, I haven't really gotten this far on writing my list yet, so <laughs> let me just think. I can get something here. I swear if you win this week after just like not having a list and coming up with it right now. Oh, shut. I have my number one chosen. I just don't want to say it now. Well, yeah, because we're doing number two. Um, Funny things. You know what? I'm going to put as things that make me laugh is number two is the fact that I'm still going to beat Wyatt right here, right now, even though I didn't have a number two. Boom. Because it's true. It's going to happen. That's my number two. <laughs> All right. Let's go. My number two. Let me set the stage. It's 66 AD. I'm going to close my eyes. Anthony Davis. Jewish pilgrims. Jewish pilgrims are making a trek to Jerusalem. Why your batteries Eddie, there, I can buddy. see that. Um, I'll cover it up. Be quiet. I continue. Sorry. It felt anti-Semitic, Eddie. Huh? Uh, Jewish pilgrims, pilgrims are making their passage to Jerusalem. That happened. And they see Roman soldiers trying to trying to get up all in their grill. 
One of them doesn't like the sound of it. Pulls his pants down, turns around, moons him. First ever recorded mooning in history. They were so offended, they came over and it caused a war. What? Really? (laughs) Yes. This is historical record. Yes. Wait, wasn't Moses Malone there, like, leading them Jewish people through a river or something D- like different that? Different time period. Um, different time period. Thinking we're talking about different times. So, but... wait. So, man, I didn't really do great in history class. I'm going to be honest So, with you. this man. A Roman soldier exposed his buttocks to Jewish pilgrims gathered in Jerusalem. They're Because they're making, it's Passover. They're making their, like, journey over there. And Roman soldiers are like, I'm going to moon him. And then they got in a mini war. Wow. A riots and such. And it's the first mooning. I Okay, that's, that's interesting. Cool. I feel like... How about you pick? How about you pick? I feel like... You can, come, you can come second place this week, you know, because we all know why I didn't come in top five. Well, I'm just trying to... I'm trying if, to I get, if I lose to you, I'm going to hire somebody to moon you, and you're never going to know. <laughs> you should get... That should be a all business, right. moon for hire, where, like, you just go online and pay someone, like Cameo. Like, but you pay someone $30 I just feel like to go there could be, someone. like, some bad things to happen, you know, with children getting moved. You know? That's a good point. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't think of the uh, Roman children or the... Well, let's... <laughs> the other ones, yeah. The children can be collateral moon damage. Colla- right. Collateral moon damage. <laughs> yeah, he pulls down his pants. They're covering the kid's eyes. No! And they start a war. Um, I just feel like... I'm trying to think, like, mm-hmm. if I was in their shoes... They're also probably, I bet the average Roman soldier has seen more bare ass than I have. Because <laughs> I feel like we are way more covered up. I mean, you get pretty, you get pretty bored in the military. I, but like, even, I feel like even their clothing wasn't as, <laughs> their, their clothing wasn't as like covered up as we are nowadays. True. So I feel like wh- how did definitely how, a gust of wind comes up and whoo. how disgusting was this man's ass? Well, you can look up ancient aspects <laughs> after the show. Ancient Roman aspects. That's someone's fetish. <laughs> All right. Number two. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a social media app where I consume most of this stuff uh, and it's Twitter. I Twitter's it was on the top of my blue things. It was on the top of another list of mine. Twitter is incredible. Recycling picks, why they? I mean, it's it's, it's, it's hilarious. Twitter is objectively funny. The funniest people on the internet no, are Twitter history. personalities. Per capita, it's not that per capita. It is not that funny. I mean, like NBA Twitter, sure, yeah, funny, very funny. It has some great content. That'll be my honorable mention. But Twitter as a whole, it's funnier than you know Instagram. Much, like, it's funnier than. Snapchat, like Twitter is funny. Yeah, but we're talking we're talking about stats and math here, Wyatt. Per capita, it's not as funny as like give me an app that's funnier. Me. Like an app. It's bro, the funniest app. That, it's the like, funniest app. Talk- if you if you want to put Twitter, you know, I have no problem with that. They have some great content, but you're gonna have to specify like what type of like Twitter, like all say of it. NBA. All Twitter. of Twitter, all that's- of the funny people on Twitter counts. So yeah, you, you, if you're excluding the non-funny people on Twitter, then maybe yeah, okay. But Twitter per capita has some very unfunny people. Right. Like that's... Eddie, what's your number one? <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be something so unbearably stupid. Us? If he moons us, honestly, I would respect him so much. Was that? A... <laughs> My number one is the number one YouTuber on the planet. Mm-hmm. Um, Flight Dut Reacts. Oh man, like my man Dut Reacts. Shout out to Dut Reacts. Um, oh man, like I swear every like week I gotta watch at least a Flight Reacts video a day, or else like my laughing meter is not like fulfilled. You know what I mean? Like Flight Reacts is just consistently over. okay we have eddie's list already he's already said all 10 so brooke what's your number one baby's cursing baby's cursing 
it's just yeah it's fucking hilarious how, how like what's the when can you get out of the phase of it's not funny anymore like how old mm, i don't know because the cuteness factor has to be there it's, sorry ugly yeah i was gonna say what if it's ugly baby um, no it's still funny because like a lot of time what if the ugly baby's cursing at the parent then it's like <laughs> that's a hoot um yeah i just there's a modern family episode where lily curses all the time because cam like finds it really funny and it's good stuff fair enough i, I think i think babies objectively can create more laughter than almost any demographic in the world they are like, a good a yeah, funny a funny baby is funnier than the the funniest stand-up comic in the world they just like that's true. everything they do can be funny um hey stop calling me uh my number one is this is why i got offended at the matt rife pick because i have a stand-up uh comic as my number one it is the man theo vaughn who cannot be explained my friends are obsessed with theo vaughn. there are few people on the planet who can make me laugh chuckle just lose all sense of reality than Theo Vaughn can. I can't properly describe him because he is an indescribable man. Everything he says feels like he's the most serious kindergartner in the world where he's just like trying so hard to understand the world around him, but he's just puzzled by it. And he is life's just a puzzle that like has no picture and he just can't figure out where anything goes. He is a, he is the world's most interesting man and he will never not fail he's the he's one of the comedians who i think is better suited just doing a podcast and talking for an hour and a half than doing like a, a stand-up comedy special for an hour like i think he's he's funnier in just his like daily podcast than he is on his stand-up specials that's just how awkwardly and uniquely funny he is so theo von's definitely he's my number one and then we have to bring Eddie back for his honorable mentions, which he doesn't have any because he made his list up, but we'll bring him back on the end of the show. Eddie, what's up, man? What do you have to say about our picks? I was just watching a Fight Reacts video. My bad. What, do you have to, what, any, what are your honorable mentions? My honorable mentions, um, I said NBA Twitter, um, another honorable mention. I don't even need honorable mentions. It's, I mean, my list clear. Like, it's, it's just so obvious, right? And Wyatt, I got to just say, by the way, your pick was – um. Pretty like plain and boring there. Um, that guy's kind of funny. Like I guess he says some weird stuff from time. Kind of look like him, but like, come on, Theo Von. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Whatever. Um, but yeah, come on. Like really, like he's a funny guy, but like it's mostly like he's not really that funny on his own. He's got to have like reactions to him. Like you got to have like someone there that's like decently logical. Like, he just says like. Dumb, you dumb ju- shit, you like, picked anyone. a YouTuber who reacts to things. I know. He's funny. Whatever. Do you, do you have any other honorable mentions? Yeah, um, I'll get more specific and I'll go with just the flight react laugh. Okay. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, it gets better. All right. Brooke, do you have any honorable mentions? I have uh, a group of men singing for some <laughs> reason. It's really funny for me. Like acapella, um, yeah. Any or just like boy, like I was, I don't know, like girls, like just like play music. Every girl in the car singing, whatever. So now it's a car full of all dudes. Are you guys all singing too? Like Justin Bieber, somebody comes on. Are you guys all like, I got my peaches down in Georgia? Like, are yeah. you all singing? That? Oh, almost, that yeah, every time. At least I am. And it's like. The voice is like not matching the right pitch. It's like I got my beaches down, and it's like it's funny. Fair enough. <laughs> Christmas caroling, a, a group of all men Christmas caroling. That's a bonus. Never happened to me. Would love to see it. Um, New girl was my an honorable mention of mine, specifically Schmidt and Nick together, mm-hmm. or the episode where Jess gets high. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that is one of my favorite episodes when Nick talks about yeah, swimming for rings. Is that that episode? Yeah. Or is it, wait, that's a different one where they get. I high. wish I wish I could dive yeah, for rings. Yeah, like, I just want to dive yes. for rings, but I can't. No, that was a different one. That yeah, was okay. when they. That was when they got high and went to the pool. The yeah, he's like, he's like, we was... can't not go to the party. They'll know we're high, and they're like, yeah. we, they're gonna know we're high if we don't go to the party. Like, yeah, you, you don't do weed. That was a test. Oh, that was a great yeah. one. Any other ones? Honorable mentions? 
Mm-mm. All right. I have um adult onesies. Those are really funny. Like okay. the giant like onesies yeah. when adults wear them. I have uh uh ball taps. Anyone anytime someone else gets ball tapped, which is why I brought that up earlier. And then kids why is Eddie spamming the chat right now? I don't know. I can't see it. I just ignore it. Um, <laughs> you just send us like real YouTube clips. And uh, kids falling. Just like, I think, I didn't put it on my list because it, it felt a little mean. mean. But it is kind of funny <laughs> when a kid falls. Because <laughs> there's, there's like a three second period when they fall and then they realize they're hurt. That three second period, is there's a pause. Yeah. There's an audible pause. You could hear the pause. And they're like, their brain's like, oh, yeah, you're hurt. And then it becomes a loud cry. But babies falling is funny. Yeah. And kids falling is funny. So I stand by that. Um, all right. We'll wrap up there. Uh, I'll, I'll, Eddie can have a final word. But thanks for watching. Go vote. Watch on Instagram. Brooke, thanks for coming on. Appreciate you putting up with Eddie. You're Not welcome. a lot of people can be in and this arena and deal with Eddie. So it's, it's appreciated. Uh, I hope that he loses and I win. So- that's a message for the people. <laughs> Eddie, final thoughts. Ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna win. Hey, everyone, all my fans. Um, all Show my the people. fans your shirt. Hmm? Show the fans your shirt. Shirt I'm wearing now? I don't know. I have my face shirt. I'm wearing it. Mm. Yo, she, she have a face shirt upstairs. We don't want to see your face shirt. We've seen the face shirt, Eddie. <laughs>